Yeah, we, we've learned uh, that's actually uh, uh, work that we've been conducting for the last uh, uh, 20 something years, almost 30 years. Uh, so we identified this group of neurons uh, in the lateral hypothalamus that we call the hypocretin neurons. So they're uh, people, other researchers call them orexins. And they're all uh, localized in lateral hypothalamus. There are about uh, you know five thousand neurons in the in uh, in rodents, about fifty thousand neurons in in humans that uh, are responsible for making that decision. And how do we know this? Essentially, because uh, uh, when we don't have those neurons, uh, we have narcolepsy, we, mm -hmm. and, and narcolepsy is a, a sleep disorder that is characterized by disrupted uh, sleep wake patterns. Essentially. Narcoleptic uh, patients don't uh, that lack hypocretin hyper, neurons. Uh, they they cannot uh, you know the, their brain cannot make that, that that decision appropriately. So they they don't consolidate sleep. They have uh, serious uh, issues in uh, uh, state boundary control. Mm -hmm. And so these hypocretin neurons, they're in a particular subregion of the hypothalamus. They're important for regulating sleep cycles. If you don't have those, you have narcolepsy, so you have very disordered sleep-wake regulation. What is hypocretin or orexin? What, what type of molecule is it? What does it do at the cellular level? Yeah, well, the, the, hypocretin, the hypocretins are two, uh, orexins are two peptides. They're produced by the same uh, precursor. Uh, and peptide transmitters uh, are very widespread in the in the brain and also in, in evolution there are molecules essentially uh, that evolved to uh, uh, connect circuits uh, at a slow pace so to speak in a, in a, in a slower time scale than fan, than uh, fast transmitters uh, and they uh, work by binding uh, to uh, receptors in the uh, uh, postsynaptic what we call the postsynaptic neuron the recipient neuron uh, and uh, and they you know that the binding of of these uh, neuropeptide to the receptor triggers a whole bunch of uh, intracellular events that result in uh, either excitatory or inhibitory uh, uh, action on the postsynaptic neuron. Mm -hmm. So, so these neurons in the lateral hypothalamus, these hypocretin neurons, they are, in a sense, um, maybe this is simplifying things a, a bit, but they're the decision makers. They're really important for dictating whether or not the animal will fall asleep or wake up. 